and if you think social media is making us less social. Okay, now raise your hand if you think it is making us more social. Now that I see where you all stand, I'm going to try to convince you all that social media is making us less social. And though some people may say that social media is beneficial to relationships, research shows that it does more harm than good. So my first point is that it replaces the need for in-person interaction. And the American Journal of Preventive Medicine shows that people who spend two hours or more on social media each day are twice as likely to feel socially isolated than those who spend less than 30 minutes. And in an article for Entrepreneur, Kevin Kaminyar said that people who spend more time on it have fewer close relationships and lower levels of social support. And Jeremy Noble, who has an MD and MPH, says that research from UPenn suggests that spending no more than 30 minutes on social media a day improves a person's overall well-being. And think about it, being on social media replaces the time that you could be spending doing more beneficial things. So Noble suggests that you visit friends, read a book, take a walk, or get a hobby, because these things are much more beneficial. And social media can be very addicting. According to Lee Health, when you get a like, a comment, a retweet, dopamine releases in the brain and it makes us feel like we are being re rewarded. So Mandy J. Hoffman said that just like using drugs or alcohol to numb pain can lead to addiction, using social media to fill the void of relationships or other needs often leads to addiction as well. And people say that, on the other side, people say that social media can be beneficial for relationships because it keeps us in contact with people who are far away. And as of 2015, 57% of people, of teens, had made a friend online, according to Amanda Linhart from the Pew Research Center. They also argue that it allows for personal expression. According to Sherry Gordon in an article for Very Well Family, there is a direct connection between self-confidence and self-expression. As Germany Kent says, if you are on social media and you are not learning, not laughing, not being inspired, and not networking, then you are using it wrong. So while these arguments may have some value, the good does not necessarily outweigh the bad. For one, there is no face-to-face -face communication, and in prospective studies across developed nations, of more, when they're studying mortality, they show that countries with the lowest level of involvement with social relationships have a more of a risk of dying, according to the Journal of Health and Social Behavior. They also say that social relationships support social support. So with that social support reduces the impact of stress and it helps to give a sense of purpose in life. And being on social media can also make it easier to compare yourself to others. And seeing other people's happiness may lead to feelings of loneliness, which is fueled by envy, as stated by the Health Psychology and Behavioral Medicine Journal. And as Germany Kent says, there is a valid reason social media is linked to depression and loneliness. We live in a time when people spend countless hours a day scrolling online through the timeline of others with envy, regret, and little appreciation for their own lives. So ultimately, Social media is not beneficial to relationships because it does not involve physical interaction, it wastes your time, and it makes it easier to compare yourself to others. So I challenge you all to spend less than 30 minutes on social media each day.